And Europe is FIFA's most lucrative broadcast market, brought in over uh, 100 billion, uh, 1 billion in broadcast revenue between 2019 and 2022, uh, most of which was from the Men's World Cup. If the bids don't come up to a fair price, how do you think it's going to impact viewership? Well, I, I can only imagine if it's not available, then that's going to affect the numbers significantly. Um, I, I do sort of empathize with the problem to solve, which is that if we use past data to uh, define our future, we will continue to repeat the same challenges that we've had in the past. And a lot of the methodologies and metrics that are used by traditional media companies use Nielsen ratings or use very traditional data points that historically have either not been available to women's sports or have only been offered in very limited circumstances such that the data is not reliable. And that creates, as you might imagine, a self-fulfilling cycle where if you need that information in order to prove your value and you don't have that information, it becomes impossible to prove your value and to increase by appropriate uh, increments given our starting point, which I think all would acknowledge is is certainly not where we should be given how strong our fan base is and how attractive our fan base is. And so um, I, I, I clearly see and understand the challenge of women's sports as someone who's new to this side of the industry. And, you know, we're, we're working really hard to maximize the opportunities that we have. Uh, we've already had, for example, two games on linear broadcast. One was this past weekend in Washington, D.C. And those ratings are performing really well relative to other comparable properties, including men's properties. And so, you know, we believe even though we have a smaller data set, which is by definition a virtue of the opportunities that have been offered to women's sports historically, when women's sports are given the opportunity to shine, they do overperform. Another example would be our championship game, which was also in Washington, D.C., where we had nearly a million viewers and we were going up against the World Series and college football. And we were still able to bring in a million viewers, which by all accounts was an incredible achievement.